Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It's December and I want it to snow on my computer screen in a window like this. And this is what I got so far. I got snow. But I also want the snow to land and make piles or dunes of snow that we can play in and build a snowman. So I'm still going to code every day until the 24th. And today I'm going to see if I can get the snowflakes to stop when they reach the bottom. What I'm doing now is I'm looking at the Y pass of the snowflake and if it's greater than the height of the screen then it has exited and should be reset. But I don't want it to reset, I want it to stop this snowflake. But the way to stop it would be to not add something to the speed next time. And I can only do that inside here, the move method. So maybe I could say if stopped or if not stopped, then do everything like this. So it has, it, I need some variable somewhere that says, is it stopped? And I could just add a property to this. Say stop would be false. And I should set it to uh, false when I reset snowflake. This stopped would be false. And of course it should be this. If this is not stopped, then move along. And if it hits the button, then say this stopped is now true. Not true, but true. So let's see if it works. Just going to open the console if something happens. And oh yeah, the height is now greater than I can see. So I'm just going to reload. And I can't really see if the snowflake stops or not because they only stop when they have re reached beyond the screen. So they are down here. They are stopping. Cool. But it shouldn't be, oh, they shouldn't stop when they reach beyond the screen. They should stop before they reach the bottom. And that requires math. So if we say that here is the bottom that has is at max y, and here's the snowflake that is just about to hit the bottom. This snowflake has a height here, a height h, that would be 10 pixel because uh, of the CSS, everything is height and width 10 pixel, but it is scaled. So it's 10 pixel multiplied by the scale. Or I wouldn't call it the scale, actually, I would call it the size. So that means that this here, the position of the snowflake is at max y minus 10 times the size. And we don't actually know the size, so we have to look into that. When I calculate the size on the scale, I just use math random here, but I should store it somewhere. So I'm just going to say this dot size equals math dot random. And then of course, not another random number here, but use the same. This dot size. And then I would have to check, is it greater than config max y? minus 10 times this size. If it is, then it should stop. Let's take a look. And they should stop just above the line here. Yes, it works. We have a row of snowflakes lying gently at the ground but only one 
Bro, it never gets taller than the tallest flake. I would like them to stack. So how do I do that? Well, it requires more math. So first, let's just say all the snowflake lands on this line. And usually they would have different sizes and different positions. They would be all over the place. There would be small ones and medium ones and big ones and and they will be everywhere. But let's just pretend that they're all the same size and land next to each other. That means we could give each of them like an X index where this would be snowflake zero, this would be snowflake one, two, three, four, and so on. And then the next snowflake that would land on top of it would land there, and the next one there, if it's in this column, or there would be one there, that would might maybe be one there, and there, and there, and so on. This would give us an array where each index in the array would be one column of snowflakes, so we would have three snowflakes there, two there, four, and one, and one, and so on. There will be more snowflakes. So that's the general idea. The problem is that they land everywhere. They have crazy X positions, like half pixels and quarter pixels. But we could use the X position and just round it off to the nearest whole number and use that as an index for the array. So let's try that. First, I'm going to create an array of landed snowflakes. I'm just going to call it landed. And this would every entry would be the X index. So here, when a snowflake lands, it should check this array and see how great it is and increment it one, but it should actually check it before it lands because it needs to know okay am I already inside the array and should I land on top of it. So before checking if we uh, land it we have to find the x index let index be that would be just the x plus rounded off And then the height of the snowflakes in this position would be the landed at position index. So if this y pos is greater than config max minus this snowflake size, I would actually say minus the height minus this snowflake size then it should stop and we would have to say that landed with the current index is now taller with this snowflake size plus equal this dot size oh multiply by 10 and this should make it work let's try it no None of them lands now. What is the landed array? Ah, it's a completely empty array, of course. And then when I look at an index, it's undefined, so height is always undefined. So down here in the init, I have to init my landing array or landed array. Init landed array. So let's just create a for loop that goes from zero to where should it go to? It should go to config max x. And for every value, it should set landed of this to zero. So now we have something. 698 positions. And yes, yes, it works. Oh, I'm missing something. When a snowflake has landed, a new one should be created. Okay, 
I can do that quickly. Can't I? This is the code that creates a new snowflake. I should reuse that up here. I don't want to copy code, so I'm going to make a function. And yes, make it a global function. Let's call it uh, new snowflake. And I'm going to reuse that up here. If it should stop, create a new snowflake. And let's see what happens. A land and new snowflakes are created. Cool. That was quite a bit of work. So I'm going to commit snowflakes landing. But it seems like there's something wrong here. Well, I'll look into that tomorrow. See you then. Let it snow.